Hello everyone. My name is Fung. I am a master student at Alto University in software and service engineering. Today, I will present my thesis topic in object detection, specifically about crawl up from starfish detection by YOLO v5 state-of-the-art model. In this presentation, I will first present the thesis problem, research background, and my motivation toward this topic. I will tell you more about the data set used to build the detector, major experimental ideas I provided briefly. I also give the uh, research results and the final model inference. The model is evaluated thereafter and future development ideas are also discussed. As we all know, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia is among the world heritage. It consists of over 300 individual reef systems and coral caves, which provide the underwater structures and ecosystem services for many marine creatures. However, lately, it has been endangered by a species called crown of thorn starfish. Due to the main food source of this species is live coral, the outbreak of COTS has led to severe coral mortality and biological imbalance for the underwater habitats. There are many efforts to monitor their growth. However, most of them are human interference and manual surveillance. Obviously, this is ineffective and it has many limitations. Considering the gigantic area of the reef, it required an enormous resource to generate the COTS distribution map, including experienced divers, ships, durable equipment, etc., and other conditions such as hindrance of weather, health, and safety issues. All things considered, it calls for a cost effective, safe, and robust alternatives to perform an autonomous starfish surveillance. Regarding this unique area of research, there have only been two studies that use traditional machine learning models to detect this starfish. Our solution is to motivate an autonomous detector that can be embedded into unmanned underwater devices. This detector is built on deep learning which is capable of recognizing as many starfish as possible and at high accuracy. To solve the research problem, we use the zero crown of thorn starfish detection dataset uh, prepared by a group of researchers from Google and Australian agencies. The dataset was published on Kaggle platform as a data challenge six months ago. At the same time, this thesis started. There are 23.5 thousand images derived from the videos collected in October 2021 in five different areas of this one reef region. We decided to use only the images with the COTS assistant to train the model. So it is about 4,919 images. There are some characteristics of this data set. Firstly, the images are in sequence, which means that many frames contain the same starfish. Secondly, there are variation in coral habitats, lightning conditions, visibility, depth, distance, and viewpoints from the camera. For this task, we only have one class of object, the starfish itself. Thirdly, these starfish are good at hiding themselves. Their visibility is not so clear, especially when they prey upon the coral. The underwater environment is so blue, so we cannot identify the color difference between the COTS and the coral. Therefore, their shapes are the unique differentiation features. Finally, this starfish is very small, when we compare the area to the whole image area. 
Regarding the experiments, we use weight and biases platform to centralize the logs of trained parameters and the results. This support the com comparison substantially. We divided the dataset into training 86%, validation 12%, and the rest for testing dataset. Additionally, 50 background images, the one without any starfish, are used for testing purposes as well. We don't allow any sequence leaks to ensure the reliability of the validation and the testing results. The evaluation metrics used include precision, recode, and average app to score a different intersection over union thresholds. Because we focus on detecting as many starfish as possible at a high accuracy rate. So we use the app to score to emphasize the importance of recall. We first train the model with default settings to establish a performance baseline. Together with some simple hyperparameters search, we try different architectures. Uh, first is the pre-trained YOLO V5M model on Objects 365 dataset. Uh, the same model, but we freeze trail backbone layers, and we even trying to train from scratch with different models in YOLO v5 family. We experiment with different image size. Adding background images to the training dataset is also tested. In our implementation, different data augmentation techniques have been used, such as geometric, color space transformation, and some advanced techniques, such as mosaic and mix-up. Regarding the results, we found out that the retrained model gives better results than training from scratch, and it also takes less training time, only one-third. The input image size of 1280 is the most optimal. Geometric transformation indeed has shown its exceptional performance on the validation result, especially rotation of 45 degrees, brightness enhancement by gamma correction and mosaic technique. We have assumed that hue saturation value technique can rectify the blueness in our images. However, it surprisingly lowers the validation result by nearly 10%. Finally, we use the best model to conduct the model inference to assess the performance and the generalization ability. We try also with test time augmentation, TTA, where the images are upscaled by 30%, coupled with horizontal flipping, and the images are processed at three different resolutions. As observed from the table, no overfitting patterns were detected. The model performs well on the testing dataset and it can detect the COTS at a speedy rate. We select the confidence score of 0.25 for the pre-trained model to highlight the precision of 92.8% while keeping a commendable recount of 91.7% and the F2 score of 91.9%. The inference without augmentation is preferable because it gives the better result. Here we provide an example image. The upper one includes the true bounding box. The lower one is our inference result. The COTS is predicted with a confidence score of 0 0.72. So, our detectors satisfied the stated goals at the very beginning. Some important observations from the performance are firstly, the dataset fulfills the recommended requirement for a reliable object detection model as YOLO v5 official documentation state. Secondly, 
data augmentation has improved the model performance and prevent overfitting problem. Thirdly, mosaic technique can alleviate data shortage and duplications due to sequence images. Finally, transfer learning not only compensates for our small data set, but also enables a cost-effective training, less computing resources, less training time, and larger batch size. There are further development ideas such as applying other image augmentation techniques during training, fighting uh, external data sets, pre-trained on other benchmark data sets, or employing mean average precision as the main evaluation metrics instead of the F2 score, or using the focal loss um, in the loss function. Uh, this uh, loss function can address the extreme imbalance between the foreground and the background classes. In conclusion, in this thesis, we have formulated the problem quite comprehensively, search for superior backbone for the detector, and define the evaluation scheme to benchmark the performance. We have dealt with different issues such as data shortage by using transfer learning and data augmentation during training. We also process the images to mitigate the underwater environment challenges such as color, light, and blurriness. We can reduce the duplications due to sequential images and have more useful features expression through mosaic technique. Finally, we obtained a satisfactory result, which has shown a potential to develop further unmanned underwater devices to finally support the COTS surveillance. Thank you for your kind attention. This is the end of my presentation.